Purchase orders are documents used to manage the parts ordering process. They may be created on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis to order popular inventory items for stock so that these are always on hand so shops are not waiting on the vendor to deliver them. Most often, purchase orders are generated on a daily basis directly from an active repair order for items required to perform the work as soon as possible. Once a repair order is marked as printed, parts on that order are flagged as needed or committed and appear on a pick list. Where current inventory cannot fulfill those needs, a purchase order is generated during any parts ordering from the order or revision screens. If the vendor for the part is not electronically connected, the pick list process is used to create a manual purchase order as detailed in its own video clip. If the vendor is electronically connected, the price check and order parts buttons are available to use and the purchase order is automatically generated in the background. Once created, these can be viewed or parts received by clicking on the View PO button on the order screen. Highlight the PO and click on Select and it opens as the full PO worksheet that was created during the parts ordering process. If the purchase order was generated for a stock order, it will be found under the POs button. If it is current, it will be listed under Open POs. If it is past business, it would appear under Closed POs. The purchase order screen options also include Print Receive Checklist for selected PO, Search to locate a particular PO by number, by date range or status, or a particular part using vendor, part number, and description fields as filters. Add is used for creating a new purchase order manually. Edit Receive is to perform maintenance activities on open POs. Delete to remove a specific PO once it has been closed. The Restock from Inventory and Pick List from All Orders options are discussed in detail in other video clips.